I don't know. Did I don't you, know how to turn on the Instagram. Thing? We oh. got it. It's going. <laughs> We're new here. Facebook. Hello. Okay, there we go. Friday, Friday. We are having a party today on Friday. I've got two of my favorite people in the whole world here. One of them. One of them is here. One of them, I made. <laughs> one of them you cooked. <laughs> loved and adored since before she was ever born. It's Daisy. That was a good wave. Uh, We are doing a cooking show. So we are in the kitchen today and we of course are talking about these amazing Infusio. They are flavored oils and balsamics and they're just gorgeous. And we also have these amazing sea salt rubs. And I just want to say we give these two a lot of attention, the Provence and the Tuscan, because they go so well with the infused olive oils and balsamics. This one, the Southwest, is a totally different flavor profile, and I just felt like she deserved some really serious love and attention today. So, Agree. I am going to make you a barbecued pulled pork that you can use for little sandwiches, and it's great. It's a football weekend, so it's great for that. We've got Super Bowl coming up. You can also serve it in a tortilla or in a lettuce cup. Ah. These girls don't eat gluten, so they're getting lettuce cups today. Hey. So I love it in a lettuce. super simple. What we did with these seasoning rubs is we started with Celtic sea salt. Um, that was Suzanne. It's Celtic? I always thought it was Celtic. Well, this is the argument. Is it Celtic or Celtic? Way in, you guys. I always called the basketball team the Celtics. The Celtics. The Boston Celtics, but for some reason I call it Celtic Sea Salt. Can you come over here? Um, so, Zanny really loved her her Celtic Celtic Sea Salt. I've always been more of a fleur de sel gal myself. So, you know, <laughs> this is what we created. These have the amazing good Celtic Sea Salt in them, and put together all of these flavor profiles so that you can do gourmet cooking even if you don't know how to blend. So I'm gonna show well, it's you. It's gotta be Celtic. Huh? Wait, it's this filter be. puts a diamond on top of your head. That is the catch. There's a diamond on my head? Yep. Does it look good? Yeah, it's cute. Well, here's the thing. I had no power at the beginning of today. So <laughs> I need to see that. Yeah. I'm happy. It only <laughs> happens sometimes. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh tiny, God. it's like. Yeah, I love. I don't I, know. This was designed by Leslie Hamlet. It's getting covered. <laughs> Daisy's mom. It That's my mama. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm so sorry for that laugh. I just said that. I've been laughing about it only as of this week, and I need to keep it in check. Here, I know. I know that. This is a pork butt. A pork butt is actually the pork shoulder. It's called a pork butt just because of the size. It is um, a really good piece of meat for braising. And that is what you're going to do with this pulled pork recipe. So I'm just going to cover it with a little bit of olive oil. It's so super easy to do. Come on, I'm going to need your hands here. Yes, that... absolutely. But I Everyone's know. asking you to speak up as well. Give a little shout out. Oh, also, okay. Instagram, there's no diamond on Instagram. You got it. <laughs> Everyone's you got like, it. where's the diamond? So this Southwest Sea Salt Rub, Daisy, if you can come up uh, on over this side. She just jumped up on she does. These are all of the seasonings that I would normally use to make my barbecued pulled pork. Cumin, garlic, chili powder, oregano, sage, and thyme, plus, of course, my good salt. I want you to see, I just gave them my recipe and said, can you do this? And this is exactly what the manufacturer did, wow, was woo. put this in here. All in the proportions that are going to make it amazing. amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat this. So you can either pour this into my hand or you can be, I coat the, I'll pour it into my hand. Yeah. All right. So you want to give this a really good, you need a lot. Yeah. And Daisy, if you could just come this way so that we still have light. Mm. Oh. Come this way. There you <laughs> go. Okay, so I'll learn eventually. We are giving this a really nice coating here. Yeah, mm -mm. and it tastes good on its own too. Really? And your sister eats these. Yeah, we love salt in this mom. family. Okay, thank you. And just don't touch my hand now that I have to touch this. Okay, What's whoops. this blend called again? Someone's asking. This is the Infusio Southwest Sea Salt Rub. 
Southwest. southwest. I did. Okay. We're going okay. southwest. Thank you. This is a recipe that is going to take, it's, it takes about five minutes to prep and then it takes most of the day just to slowly cook. Mm -mm -mm. You may use, you may cook this in a slow cooker. You may cook it in a Dutch oven and finish it on the oven. It's totally up to you. This morning when I went to cook it, my slow cooker obviously didn't work because I had no power, but I was able to get my oven working. So mine went into the oven. Okay, here she is. Wow. It's so simple. Stunning. Look at that. Beautiful mm -hmm. loaf. Beautiful you know, pork loaf. Thank God. Thank God. I can't wait to eat this. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wow. All right, so what I'm going to do, follow me, Days. Here I come. Here. I am going to do this one in the slow... Oh, can you turn that pan off, honey? Yeah. Um, sorry, I put my slow cooker pop right here. It's oh, there. Ease. Do you, uh, I, I personally oh, can't grab center. it. You can turn it, put it on low. Okay, so this is going right into here. Good night. So there, wash these hands. And then, so excited. You're gonna want to cook this on low for at least eight hours, eight to 10 hours. And did you put olive oil first or no? Just I rub. Put some olive oil first. Okay. You don't have to, but. Oh and my God, I know what we're missing. Tequila. Oh yeah, you can make a drink of this. Um, yeah, of course. I do like to put a little bit of liquid in the bottom. This is gonna release a lot of liquid. This is some chicken broth. Can I, would you give me the apple cider vinegar on it? Mm. Absolutely. Um, in here? Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar. Mmm, So we're sweetness. going for like a sweet and savory barbecued pulled pork. This looks so good. And then a little bit of apple cider vinegar. People have all different methods of what they put into their barbecue pork. Some people actually use a can of Coke. Whoa. Because Number one, it has acid in it and it has sugar. So I'm using acid from apple cider vinegar and sugar from brown sugar. Mm. Well, you, know, you do you, whatever. I could have blended that together before I put it here. So just look down on this one. Okay, so I'm just combining Ooh. that. That's just in the bottom here. And it's gonna mix with the natural juices that are released from this and Right in here. Come here, they're making a mess. Yeah. That's it. Good That's night. It's going to go on low. Good night, She's Mr. Gonna Pork. Take eight hours. <gasps> and it's going to come out like shreddy and beautiful and wonderful. Now, I cooked mine in a Dutch oven like this. Um, I seared it first. You can see it on, it's on my Instagram, which is Caroline Summers, or it's also on this handle um, in the story. And I seared it first and then I put it in the oven and it was in there for about five hours and I had to turn it up a little high because I wasn't sure it was going to be ready. Oh, so no. it probably cooked a little hotter than I wanted. I like it low. You want it low and slow. So now the big reveal. La, 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 la. Here. I'm gonna make you some slaw too, but What's in there? Oh my gosh. Okay, look. so what you want to <laughs> do hungry. now is we're going, look at this. Can I? Oh my goodness. You really need to take a picture of it. My mouth is falling oh. off. It's not even watering. It's just okay. gone. Oh, would you like my phone? Well, I guess we could do that after a shred. Okay. So again, if you joined us late, all we did was put on this Infusio Southwest Sea Salt Rub. Camelia, a lot of people are saying that they saw a video of you singing and they loved it. What video of me? A video at your grandfather's <laughs> service? Wow, that's so funny. That's that's a long time. Time. It was beautiful. Well, multiple people are praising you. That is so sweet. Okay, are you in here? Can you even believe this? I'm going to cry. Look at this. Who's crying with me? Look at this. Get over here, Daisy. This Whoa. is hey, so yeah. glorious. You can, you can use this for a weeknight. You can use this for 
a party. You can definitely use mm. this if you are a football fan. You can use it for nachos. You can use it for... Oh, my God, nachos. Yes, you can put it on tortillas. You can put it in lettuce cups. Or we're going to do a very traditional little brioche bun. People are wondering if you're going to post uh, the recipe anywhere. Yes, I definitely will. Okay, beautiful. It's, it's so easy. I mean, literally. You stick it in the pot. Yes, exactly. But if you do it in the oven, you need a little more a little more guidance. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so. Who's jealous of me right jealous. now? Camelia's over there being our mixologist. I'm putting tequila. Honestly, it might be really weird. It's okay. Tequila, passion fruit juice, a random juice juniper lime juice. Mm. mixture and some lime okay delish that sounds awesome we'll it's a little out of focus but that's okay got it yeah that looks so good focus? Look no that. both are not in focus okay there we go well i was trying to come to you oh my god <laughs> mm. oh my god are you joking <laughs> mm. it's sweet salty delicious I, it is only that seasoning. Mm -hmm. That is it. So mm. I'm going to do a little bit of sweetness in the... Okay. So, I would not mind a bite. Give, give the girl a bite. Give me a bite. I'm so hungry. Wait, I feel we like a all, new woman. We are all hungry. We need smell a vision Yes, we do. Mm. It's so good. Is it good? That seasoning is really nice. That's so good. I mean, it's caramelized. So yes. Mm. Yeah, it's so giving it caramelized. So it's a little more in the Dutch oven than it does in the slow cooker. In the slow cooker, you're going to get all that beautiful mm -hmm. shredded goodness. That is delicious. Um, now, I'm going to taste it like this before I add the barbecue sauce. It's really good. You're right. Carolyn is such a great cook. Thank you. You can use any jar of barbecue sauce that you like. Are there rubs on the website? Yes, Suzanne Summerstock. Get them rubs on the website, y'all. I. <laughs> Someone says that I'm like Alan behind the camera. <laughs> okay. It's me, Daisy. Hello. Honestly, I kind of love doing this. Okay, so I'm going to quickly make some slaw and then I'm going to feed these girls and then I will cook the camera. Oh so my god. What we're gonna do is just, some people just pour a whole bottle of barbecue sauce on this. I mean, the flavor is actually so good. I'm just gonna taste it and see how much I need to this. I mean, I'm not gonna even that. I'm just not. <laughs> um, Bunny, please don't do that. Delish. Also, you guys, this. It's we so haven't good. even mentioned it. We're so caught up on food. Mm. Promo oh code God. Jan25 for 25% oh. off. Hey. Okay, i got to feed you this. But I'm going to put this away, and then I'm going to make a quick slaw. I'm not even going to make a slaw. I'm going to make some marinated mm. cabbage. Just some lime, lime marinated cabbage. Can you see underneath there, Daisy? This is just a nice thin mandolin. Hello, everyone. Look at that. I love cabbage. Cabbage is underrated, stunning vegetable. So there's our cabbage. The sale is for everything. It's site wide. Site wide. Um, when we have a twenty-five percent off sale, this will go all weekend long. And it's good for anything that is not already discounted more than 25%. Look at this gorgeous Look at this line. perfect daughter. I have questions for my people. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you want something very citrusy that's not sweet? Sure. Do you want to try that? Is it going to be too citrusy? I like it pretty sour. Oh, it's delicious. I've been on my, um, thank you. I've been on my um, martini, my dirty mm -hmm. martini vibes. No, this is extreme delicious. It's pretty good, right? What happens almost immediately a with this salt. is that yeah, right, the, the chemical reaction from the lime juice just turns this the most spectacular color. Yeah. It softens it just a bit. Oh, my God. Um, of course, oh if you want a creamy slaw, you can add mayonnaise or... 
I love to use veganaise, yeah. Yeah. Um, or I think I'm just going to leave this limey and fresh. Mm. So now we are going to build. It's actually very good, Camellia. It is pretty good. You're always like, this is going to be it's bad. Delicious. And then it's extreme deliciousness. Remember when we made the peach, um, <laughs> peach uh, balsamic? <laughs> of course. It How could I bad. forget? It Look at them really rolls, y'all. Here we go. Okay, little. Those look beautiful. No, you know what's I want to lay in that. You get your phone and get your camera and take some pictures so that when I post these recipes, mm -hmm. I have a nice uh, so. Guys, we absolutely are aware of the diamond. We can't. It's, it's going to stay there. Oh, no. The knife. <laughs> Wait, how did you make the tequila? Some people are wondering. Say it again. Okay. Happy Friday. Say it tequila. Everyone. I use January 25, rosé tequila, but you can use any tequila. Mm. And then I put in, so I used three shots of tequila because there are three of us. Then I put in two shots. I don't know how much is a shot. But I don't know. It was the little thing in the mixer. Okay, well, two of those of passion fruit juice. Mm. And then one lime and, like, half a shot of this, like, juniper lime verbena cocktail mix. Oh my god. So just like you could replace that with simple syrup. So here's what we're gonna say. What are we, we gonna never say? I saw a brioche bun like this on the Summer Size program. Mm-mm. Okay, what but what do you that want me to do? That doesn't mean that we didn't miss them. Look at this. Wow. What what would you like me to photograph? Um the tray of meat, but we're I'm gonna have to move it because that's not a good spot. No, that's not. Knife. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> I kind of absolutely love being the <laughs> camera the boy. Camera yeah. I wouldn't have minded that because I didn't really feel like since I'm the only one who's putting makeup it. on today. Maybe mm -hmm. we can. And get, I didn't do my hair. Maybe we can get Daddy to come eat a sandwich. Well, I don't think it's gonna take that much. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people right, are real so funny. I'm going to. Alan likes to drink tequila straight out the bottle. <laughs> He's a purist. Sometimes eyelashes get in your eye. It's pretty and I'm posing my ass up. Okay, sorry. She needs an image, pronto. <laughs> I wasn't able to see. Look at this. You Look at this mother-daughter bonding. Oh, don't don't get in her light, no, girl. Like, this actually was nicer. <laughs> what brand of barbecue sauce are we rocking with tonight? Uh, I don't know whose it is, and I don't even know if I like it yet. So okay, guys, so sorry. But it but is... Like use your it. favorite barbecue sauce. Okay, look at this, Daisy. Are you getting close on this? Look at this. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. I am starving. We're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it, girl. I think I'm going to take this piece with I my hand. I think you should give one to me. <laughs> Sing. sing for your supper. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm missing. Deja, would you like me to be? You You're welcome. Kinders. Kinders. Yeah, give me some in my move. Okay. Now. Oh, Wait, don't get, own. don't like make it so big, you know? Oh, this okay, sure. Oh my God. We can, you can do it in two bites if you'd like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'm so missing. So good. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's really good. <laughs> it's ridiculously good. Okay. Mm. This is what's happening on this little. It's so good. Burn. I'm sorry for all of you because it's going to take you eight hours to experience this joy. Southwest but rub, y'all. So sorry, this is extreme deliciousness. Everybody yeah. should be making this this weekend. I might have to get a crock pot. Wait, a slow cooker honestly is an incredible if investment. You have the slow cooker, I have it. It still works. Me and my mom use it all the time. And then this just gives a little bit of color and tang mm. on the top. Yum. Alan likes to drink Patron. 
This is actually a great drink with it because it cuts it pretty well. It's nice. I think you did well with that, Camilla. Thank you. Okay. The cooking shows are my favorite too. Same. The cooking shows are the best. We get to eat. I know. Get when drink. Caroline texted me being like, hey, you want to come over and eat some delicious so food today? And I said, yeah. What cut of meat is best to use, Caroline? This is the pork butt, which is actually a pork the shoulder, booty. but your butcher will know it as a pork butt. It's the How same that you use to make carnitas. It is, it's a fatty piece of meat, um, but those are the best for braising. So that's what you want for braising. Wow. This looks so extremely this. stunning. A little bit. A little dollar. Yeah, look at those beautiful colors. Mom, is this in your cookbook? It's not. Oh. There's so certain things. Wait, right. Pamela, that's a very cute memoji or whatever it's called. I like your hat. I love your glasses. I love your smile. Look at the color of these. Is the Provence sea salt rub in stock? Provence. Do we know? Uh, Provence. Jill, can you let us know? I'm, I'm not aware that it's not in stock. Okay, you also have a cool Memoji, Hazel. Are they called Memojis? I don't know. I'm going to keep complimenting oh, them. Avatar? Yeah, they're all extremely cute. Okay, so we I just see. added lime juice to the slaw. And salt, that's it. And some salt. I'm going to go like this to make these cute ass little sandwiches. That's so cute. Okay, ready? I'm going to turn this around. Shut up. He's going to go over here. And you want a photo? Are Here, let me move my beverageino. Yes. Lore, beautiful so Memoji. <laughs> See, now all these, all these herbs, we don't need these. <gasps> oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. You okay, sweetie? I think, girl. Wow. Right under my Kim, head. stunning Memoji. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like everyone's having a Memoji off. I think we could probably remove Bragg. <laughs> Yep, thank you. Goodbye, for that. Brag. Thank you for that. Bunny, do you want to say anything? <laughs> do you want to say anything? No, you just want to eat my shoes? Watch Camellia at work. Uh, wait, we want the full one. Yes, but then. Oh, the, 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 the lid doesn't put it in the middle. Caroline is a wonderful <laughs> chef. Tiffany, thank stunning you. halter gown. <laughs> Oh my god, Ruby, you're oh, absolutely no, slaying in the me. cheetah print cardigan. <laughs> you know, I'll just say I'm actually not the best. I think you're doing great right now. <laughs> Bunny, enough. <gasps> no. Darlene with the heart. Okay, I think it's time to eat. All right, got it. Okay, I'm going to build you guys maybe some now. <gasps> it is me speaking, Daisy. I'm feed myself first. Okay, could you hand me your lettuce plates? Um, again, if you came in late, promo code is JAN25. We're just having a January sale. It lasts all weekend long. It's good 25% off anything at SuzanneSummers.com. Anything that's not already discounted, more than 25%. That's a big um, old discount. Yeah. Okay. So this we can put over here. Egg tenders. Tastes good. It's great. Someone said, what kind of trouble will Big Al be getting into this weekend? We do he's, not know. He's having so much fun with his friends. God bless Alan's amazing community. Yeah, he has. Yeah, Alan it's Anderson. true. And he's fun. People like me with Alan. Zeta is a hoot. Okay, look at this. Wow. How many pounds of pork are we aware? Um, usually a pork butt is about four to five pounds. That's literally as big as Bunny. You mm -hmm. can put two of them in a slow cooker. It's kind of, I think it's bigger. A party to feed. Oh, we have a small. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this color. Green is color. Caroline's color. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to put this over here, and then Daisy, I'm ah. going to build one for both of you, and then I'm going to take the camera so you guys can. Oh my it. God. Blessings. Ah. So. so you don't do a big rinse on? I did a matrix. Rinse. Oh, really? Oh, I did a matrix. Hello, it's delicious buns. Fresh. So well, in I, the cabbage, it's going to be lime juice and salt. That's it. I rinse like a crazy person. Like I rinse like you've never seen before. Okay. I well, still. here's what I'm going to say. If you follow me on Instagram, 
You usually see me go to the farmer's market on Saturdays and there's this one super sweet and very hot farmer mm. at Frecker Farms. <gasps> so, oh, call it out, Mama. Okay. Oh, no, we'll go talk explain. to the sexy farmer, Bruce, huh? Bruce said, he, Bruce was like, oh, okay, so if you're like casting sexy farmer, it's Will. <laughs> it's Will. It's got to be Will. You know, we're in commercials. We know, like, so he's so sweet and he has the most amazing farm stand there. And I think I'm going to have to start doing a weekly Will sighting. You guys would tune in for that, I know. So next time we go to Does the farmer's market. It's like when the sexy man who worked at Target went viral. Consent. Okay, so I, Camellia is going to want extra sauce because that's Camellia. Look that's at that. That's Look at that. Yeah. Okay, delicious. Yes. And even if you are not gluten intolerant, I would recommend having a little bit in a lettuce leaf because sometimes it helps you taste things a little you bit can better. Taste and eat better. Yeah. So and also you can eat more of it because it's not gonna be so filling. And I'm definitely a person who likes to eat the most amount of pork. Of course. I love cilantro. Oh hello Hamelwood. Hello. It's me, your daughter. Leslie, look what I have. A hat that you designed. Caroline said you designed this. Hey, ladies, thanks for the gluten tip. You're welcome. <laughs> that's from that's from my mom. Okay, I'm putting a little garnish here. Now I'm going to have to take the whole photo of it. And this is so good. Okay, you go to your place. So okay, Daisy, may I please have... Yes, you may. May I please put you on the camera? Okay. Thank you. This is unbelievable. This is the best day of my life. It truly is. Okay. I'm gonna go right in. It's I gonna think I might need like a bib. Might drip down your wrists. My mom used to always tell me that I shouldn't go on dates where I eat food because I'm a extremely messy eater. <laughs> and it's probably yeah, like true. Ribs. Mm-hmm. I think it makes a woman relatable. Mm. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Mm. This is like my perfect meal. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so good. It's unbelievable. Um, and it's awesome. so easy to make as well. It was so easy. Wow, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That Southwest seasoning really is fantastic. It really is. It's just a uh, fresh lime juice on the cabbage. The that cabbage also adds like a nice little crunch in here. Mm -hmm. Like don't you feel like it's better in the lettuce shop? Oh, there's the diamond on your head. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Sometimes the lighting is just not great. So you look for a filter that just kind of brightens things, but doesn't make you like have weird long eyelashes or like put makeup on you. And Those are hard. They Those are. always make me look extremely strange. Yeah, well. I got mm -hmm. a little bit of dirt from the lettuce. Oh, I'm water. sorry. Mm. Like, Don't apologize. Mm. Could have cleaned. I'll, I'll talk to Will. I'll talk to Every Hot. Bite I'll talk to hot, hot Farmer Will. Is soil good for you? Soil? soil? <laughs> I mean. Like as in eating dirt? <laughs> it's in your mouth? Is there that much? Uh, it, it was a, it was a. That's how mm. you know it's. Organic. You have a little, um. A little parsley, oh, okay, a little a cilantro in your tooth, this too. Oh, no, you got it. It's right in the front, too. Let me see. You got it. Done. Oh, no, on the That's other side. There. Just keep eating there. because it doesn't matter. You have to finish. There's there, no there. reason getting it out now. Oh, the diamond went to you when you put your finger in your mouth. This is so funny. Wait, I want more of that. Okay, so if you are joining us late, we are featuring... This amazing Southwest sea salt rub. It this has Celtic sea salt it in is it. Celtic. Everyone's saying S -s 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 Celtic. Celtic sea salt I've never heard anyone with the flavors of Southwest. I used it to make this incredible barbecued pulled pork. Delicious, mm. absolutely delicious. The Provence is also wonderful. I love it on chicken, I love it on steak. The Tuscan. Great on chicken, great on pork, great on steak. Yeah, 
And then, of course, we use all of these beautiful infused olive oils and balsamics. Mm. They have these gorgeous flavor infusions in them. They're super high end. They are a little pricey, but you get 25% off today with oh, promo yeah. code JAN25. And they last a long time. So I cook so much Italian with them, obviously, because they're balsamic and olive oil. So today, we just really wanted to feature something delicious. And I... Wait, I'm about to take a really big bite. Okay, well, I'll just cruise on over here. I am next going to make a spinach mm -hmm. salad. So There's I'm going to make... Yeah, I'm going to make a hot spinach <laughs> salad. You're the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> with um, some crisp apple and some beautiful triple cream blue cheese and some bacon. And what was that? Bacon. Wow. It's pork day. It is pork day here. I'm gonna have so, one last bite and then I'm gonna take the camera from you. Is that okay. okay, yeah, that's that works. I must have more. I need Sorry, to have this a- this is like radicchio, how yummy this is. It's so I, I need to have a bite of her. Look at her. Oh. You do need to have a bite. I'm having my last bite, I promise you. Dad! Bruce. You won't do it. Yeah, so good. All right, little love. Mm -hmm. You want to mm -hmm. wash your hands? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just have a sip of my drink that my gorgeous daughter made me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Camelia, for being our mixologist. Do you guys have any questions for me while the girls are eating? Yeah. Mm, thank you. I'm back, y'all. Mm. Okay. That's so freaking good. So we're not reusing our plate. Mm. This over here. Mmm. I am going to grab my. That was so good. I'm gonna make that. It's so easy, right? I'm gonna need that Southwest. My mom. I've never once had her pork roast. Yes, you have. Me? She makes, she makes some delicious pork. She makes really good um tacos. ribs. Wait, but Leslie, what is the pork, the, the rest of the big pork thing? Mamo, if you're the here. With the lime and it's unbelievably good. Oh, yeah. Wait, That's what are you just talking about? We need her. Everything oh, is I'm so good. About. It was chicken, she says. Oh, it was? Yeah, my mom has never once in her life made pork. I can't believe Except for ribs. Chicken. She makes so, really good ribs. It was so Sorry, guys. I'm going to stop moving good. in two seconds. Okay. This is just a mandolin, and I'm going to slice my apple. I'm using my safety handle so I don't slice my finger off. Because I already did that once in 2023. Yep. We don't want that again. I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is a good question from Nadine. What is the best oil and vinegar combo, your favorite? Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to make a favorite because there are so many good ones. Meyer lemon is the favorite olive oil. So if you are only getting one infusio and you've never tried the Meyer lemon, I will say it's the most universal, and we love it. And I love the Meyer like lemon with pomegranate <laughs> or black cherry. There you go. I love the basil olive oil with vanilla fig. Yes. That's outrageous. <laughs> good. But Someone's... I love um, the herb de Provence mm. or the Tuscan with the black cherry or the white peach. Delicious. They're all extremely good. You really can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. they're all so good. Yeah, I would not recommend in an instant pot. This needs a long, slow cook for eight hours. Well, an instant pot does the same thing that a slow cooker, slow cooker does. I'm just kidding. I'm wrong. <laughs> so one is a pressure cooker and one is a slow cooker. But would you recommend in an instant pot? People who know how to use their instant pot are fanatical about it. I have never been an expert at pressure cooking, but you could probably make this in a fraction of the time. Because That's true. Of the pressure. So it might only take you an hour. Um, They're loving your jacket, Camelia. If you could, Thank you so much. I'm loving it too. It's your Christmas present. <gasps> yeah. Okay. It's from Korea. Okay. Okay, so like we, um, we're coming over here, Daisy. I'm going to start the bacon. Here I come. Daisy, if you would like for me to take No, I'm truly loving this. Right? Probably could have started this some time ago. Okay, delicious so, bacon. What the heck? This is just wow. chopped into pieces. 
And I'm just going Why to Why does it look this... so fluffy? Mm. Well, because I cut it in the stack. Wow. And then chopped it, hoping that it would separate on its own. But see what I mean? Like, Sharuki's well. saying you won't get the same uh, crispiness in a pressure cooker. You won't. It'll be soft. But, but same with a slow cooker. Someone just said, do y'all do flossing after a meal? I know. No, but I should because I just looked in the mirror and I had so much in my... I used the water pick that Zanny and Zeta gave me. Oh, that's sweet. Did you get that toothbrush also for Christmas one year? The black one with the rose gold? No. It's like my absolute most favorite thing ever. No. I wish. Mmm. Okay, so we're going to let this get... <laughs> it's so good. I have. I still have to eat it. Wait, you haven't eaten it? I haven't. I'm you gonna need add to. to the bacon. Yeah. And I'm going to eat it. Caroline's hat is a vintage Suzanne Summers hat. I um, don't love eating on camera. You know how some content creators, like, that's their thing? Yeah. Is they, they, they finish every recipe going, and then mm -hmm. they shoot us. Not for you. Wait, but you do it's, that, I feel like. Because you always do the, mmm. -hmm. I only do the sound. Uh, I usually have the camera on Bruce. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, okay, so, I mean, I do the I, camera, Yeah, you should eat over the, do you not, yeah, I I'll won't film you. <laughs> I promise I won't film you. Yeah. Amelia, what lipstick are you wearing? I am wearing, what lipstick are you Look. Are you wearing I lipstick? Probably coral crush. I was. Wait, yeah. I, I, I makes sense that you would be. I feel like you're a coral crush girl. I'm a berry pop girl. Camelia's a coral crush guru. Coral crush. I'm going to take some of this with my hands. Look at this POV. Guys, imagine you're me. Okay, coral crush ready? I find to be the most universally great lipstick. Okay, shall I do an impression of like... A, con a food content yeah. creator no, that does mm -hmm. really annoying chew. Do you guys like the chew bite? No, mommy, I think no one likes it. I know, no one does. But I think sometimes people do it because even though people find it a little cringy, it makes people watch. Well, because it's weird to cook it something and then not eat it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I get it. But I just, I bring it right up to the camera like this. Hello. Oh, my if God. you follow me on Caroline Summers, you've seen me do this. Oh, my I God. I bring it up really close. And then behind the camera, I take a bite, and then I put the camera on blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to see it, you know? Sometimes the food is so good, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Mm. What did I do? That is so good. It is Careful so good. Camille's over here good. cooking the bacon. Wow. Make this this weekend. You no, guys. you actually yeah, need to be making that. It's very good. Weekend. It's so good. You need one pork butt or two. You need one tub container of this. If you feel like it, add the broth and the brown sugar and the apple cider vinegar. And then mm. get yourself a, some barbecue sauce and one cabbage and a couple lime. It's so insanely good. Is it a holy crap? <laughs> yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where your napkins at? We don't need them. Because <laughs> we're going in for seconds. Mm. I'm yeah, I actually okay. like, can't stop eating it. I know. And I'm not like a ham food eater. You're not? No. Wait, yes you are. I, I feel like I've almost exclusively seen you eat with your hands. Mm. But, <laughs> don't lie to the people. I mean, a picker. Yeah. A I, hand picker. I love finger food. Like red, fries. Mmm. Wow. You guys are doing a great job over there. I'll just be over here, don't mind me. Delicious. That is so good. I'm going to Korea tomorrow. And all of my clients have asked me what kind of food I like. And every time I just like Korean barbecue. Mm -hmm. I love Korean barbecue. I love Korean barbecue too. And so I'm going to a pork barbecue restaurant where all they serve is pork. Mm. You cook it yourself, and I'm so excited. Are you going I'm going to be requesting you take some photos of are that. Are you going to Absolutely. show us any of your adventures on Instagram? Yeah, I just like kind of stopped posting because it was stressing me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. It became like a chore. It became more of a chore than something that was fun. So when I feel like it, Camilla's hair does look nice. very good. My hair? Mm-hmm. They said rock star hair. Oh my god! Thank you so much. I 
I didn't do it today. No, but it, lo like, it looks long. It is really long from grow back. Mm -hmm. And the color is nice too, which is, is that just your natural color? My natural, and then I get some highlights up top. Let's go, girl. Liz Young, LA, if you're, if you're in LA, go to Liz. Go to Liz. She's really great because I only go like once every six months. If even that. I need to get a haircut. So it makes it easy to let it. Mom, I think we're getting close to the end. We're cooking bacon Mom, up in this. Over here, so you're good. It's splattering around. It's splattering. Uh, did anyone else, when you're, when you're leaving for a trip, do you get immense anxiety the day before and feel like you need to like paint the house? Pa yeah, you're like, I need to re redo my whole life. It, I'm like, for some reason today, I had the thought like, I really should clean up my closet today. Mm -hmm. I have so much to do. I always want to clean up my closet no. on the worst pot. Oh no, not in the neck. Okay, bacon, <laughs> calm down. We're okay. Sorry for that. Calm I'm down, sorry. bacon. Sorry for that drama. <laughs> Becky, you're so cute. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. It's fine. I can get it lasered off. Any scarring I have, I can get it lasered off in Korea. Oh my God! There you go. Yeah, Korea is land of incredible. Oh okay, but I've been a little stressed out because I want to do a crazy facial. Like I want to get. Wow, your skin laser looks beautiful. Facial. Thank you so much. But I just feel like while I'm there, I might as well. Yeah, that's true. But I think with laser, you have to stop using certain types of products, and I use mostly like all organic and gentle. Products, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'll use a glycolic acid. Sorry, it's not from Suzanne. But sometimes I use glycolic acid. Um, Bunny's mad. Cleanser, just if I'm getting a little extra acne, and I don't know if that's allowed. What are you but trying to say? Speak I'm English. Not, it's not going to be your last time in Korea. But you know, yeah, but you know what? It's fine because then I can just use the Suzanne cleanser. I'm there you go. Just as and you know, Bruce's Wellis Air business. Um, the manufacturing happens in Korea. That's where the technology comes from. So Maybe you need to go to the factory. What? Are you guys going to hang? We're saying, I made him stay at the same hotel as me. Okay, that's really cool. Isn't that as I am saying, I think that's correct. Okay. All right, so we have this wow. smoke detector. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I'm going to put crispy bacon. Hello, delicious guy. And now we are going to go in here with, this is some um, washed Organic spinach. Spinach is one of the foods that you must eat organic. It is in the dirty dozen, so you really don't want to eat spinach non-organic. I'm going to use the blood orange olive oil. A lot of you ask wow, me. Wow, mom, you have so much left in there. Well, I'm not going to throw that away. <laughs> uh -uh. I mean, no. And a lot of you ask me how long these stay fresh. Um, you don't put them in the refrigerator. You keep them in the cupboard. I can't even imagine how long I've had this. You can tell when an oil has gone mm -hmm. rancid because it gets a smell to it. Yeah. It just doesn't, it smells stale. This it smells like crayons. This smells like blood orange. Oh my Isn't goodness. Isn't that nice? Let me get so, in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's a little floral. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go on right onto the spinach mm, 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 and then I'm going to need a second mm, bottle, but I didn't mm, want to waste mm, that. Mm, 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 Sometimes when you get these products, you'll get a little bit of seepage around the neck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that seepage. Yeah. Seepage Wait, Mom, you are missing the peach balsamic. Yes, I, I what did the heck? have all of them on here today. Okay. So, again, these are mostly finishing oils, so it's very rare that we cook with them. Um, well, they're just too amazing to cook with. Yes. Although, Someone says, I have mine on my counter as decor. Yeah, they really are. Like, look okay, at that. Sausage. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. <laughs> I'm allergic to eggs. A little bit of butter. I remember what eggs taste like. And these would be so good on eggs. What? The oils. Mm, oil on, yeah. Fried egg. Okay. Put oil on a fried egg? You're awesome. Yes. Okay. So Hello, we salad. Have the salad. All I've done so far is the... The oil. Kanaya, could you please get me two small Yum. salad bowls? Look at that chaise. Wait, wait. This is the shallow bowls. It's perfect. Okay. The 
Someone says, your cookbook is on my counter. Oh, thank you. Beef The pasta balls, honey. Oh, well, this you said small. This is my cookbook. Look at that. It's called Sir. Double Caroline. This is available at carolinesummers.com. This was an apron that I was testing for the cover. This one lost. This one won. So you can see I'm right here. That's my kitchen. And <laughs> this, this is crazy. The cover. Um, thank you to all of you who have purchased my cookbook and who have sent me notes that you got it and you're loving cooking from it. That's that's really fun for me. Okay, well this for me. Here we go. You want to come on the other side, buddy? Sure. What do we think, Bunny? Be? Oh my God. She was going into her treat ball into her back, back and getting treats. <laughs> she's never done that. That you know of. She definitely, every time you move, she's probably doing that. No, because she'll knock it over. No, we have a phone that's on 10%. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, so I'm going to put a little of this wow, apple. Wow, there was something oh, else that enjoyed this apple. No, it was the prong. <laughs> oh. I'm going to put a, a worm. bit of this delicious bacon. Mmm. Yeah. A little sweet, a little salty. Yes, and then... I am going to, why don't you put that here, Kanaya, so Daisy can get a good shot. And then I'm going to go in <clears> with <throat> the, I'm going to use the traditional on this. Literally any one of them would be great. But I'm Someone already wants you to make another cookbook. <laughs> I'm working on, the next one is going to be a holiday book, but Ooh. I'm going to sell this one first. Okay, a little bit of... You just need a little bit of this because do you see that glaze? Mm. Not if you're me. And I know Kanaya likes it. What kind of apple one. are we working with? That is a Fuji apple, an organic Fuji apple from also from another one of my favorite vendors mm. at the farmer's market. And this is a gorgeous Saint Agur, which is a triple cream blue cheese. It's one of my favorites. Holy F. Daisy yeah. is still eating cheese, so she gets some cheese. Camellia I eat a lot of first. cheese. Cheese is one of my main oh, foods. <laughs> okay. Camellia, why don't you take the camera and let Daisy eat that? Okay. Absolutely. Mm. I will gladly eat this salad. I'm going to go over to my little this plate. Sorry. I was like, this plate is really heavy. I this <laughs> too. Okay. You follow Daisy and then I'll make you one. Okay. Extra vinegar. Could you use pear instead? Ooh, Holly Cruz is asking. Pear and blue cheese is delicious. It really is. Is there a glazed sample box available? There is a gift set, but I'm not... Last I heard, we were out of a couple of them. Um, but we do have... A, mm. I'm <laughs> Bunny, and that. Creamy. Delicious. Daisy's diamond on her head is so funny. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Okay, can I have yours? I turned into a little. I'll eat fast so you can eat too. Oh, take your time. Enjoy it. Okay. Mommy, make sure. Would you mind putting some extra balsamic on mine? I, I put quite a bit on there, honey. That's Thank you so scary. much. <laughs> she knows. Alexis wants baby bunny to be held. Okay. She. Yeah. She's okay. For all of you, for all of you who get nervous saying she's never on the floor, she is sometimes. All right, Kanaya, here you go. You can start with that and you may add more if you want. I should have taken a photo, but that didn't happen. All right, go ahead, honey. Let me hold the. I ate it too fast. Could put pecans on that delicious salad. Mm -hmm. I was thinking you absolutely could. Some caramelized pecans? Yes, chef. I'm sorry. Whenever I hear yes, chef, I just think of Gordon Ramsay. Like, I can't not think of Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Well, it looks like I don't need to go to dinner tonight. Nope. I was thinking that as well. This is a very early bird dinner. And I it is. I, I like to have an early dinner. Because that means I get to have second dinner. Mm. Yeah. We're big fans of second dinner in this family. Yes. Well, well I don't think any of us. I think we all had our first meal right now. Yeah. yeah. But on Thanksgiving, all of the cousins go into the kitchen and we're eating until like we pass out. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. 
That's delicious, so right? So, so, but unfortunately, I mean more. That's okay. Um, if you so great, would like to get any of the products from SuzanneSummers.com this entire weekend, promo code is Jan25. It's just a January sale. It is mm -hmm. site-wide. Mm -hmm. Anything that is not already marked down more than 25%, you may use this code at SuzanneSummers.com. You guys, wave, wave to the folks. Is that all? That's it. That's all, folks? Yes. Bunny? Bunny? Bunny boo. Hey, girl. Hi, sweetheart. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Bunny. All right, you guys, have a good weekend. We're back on Monday. We'll see Bye, you then. Everyone. Bye. Have a great weekend.